YouTube, Rook here from Rook Geek Goodness, my little channel on the web for all things geeky and cool. Welcome guys to Funko Pop Battle Royale Season 1, Round Number 3. We have two pops that are exclusives going head to head. We have the classic Superman from the DC Legion Collector's Core box going up against the PF exclusive Lobo, the non-bloody version. Now if you're not familiar with this whole video format series, I do it a little differently than my normal Funko reviews, meaning I'm going to be reviewing these guys in a pure objective based approach, meaning again, I'm not going to be looking at the character history, their powers, their weaknesses, their lineage, nothing along those lines. I'm strictly looking objectively at these guys in front of me and that's the idea for this video format series in case you've never watched one of these before. At the end of the video you have a chance of what's called cast your vote. You'll click the eye above my head and you'll have a basically a choice of either selecting the classic Superman or the Lobo figure which you think is the better figure. You can pick whoever you think is the better pop. You can pick it maybe because you like Superman better than you like Lobo or you like Lobo better than you like Superman. Any way you want to slice it is your choice to have your voice heard. This contest will go on for about seven to eight weeks. At that time, I will look at the results and pick the winner who will move to the next round of competition. If it happens to end in a tie, meaning 50-50, I will step in and pick a winner at that time. So with that being said, let's go to the table and see who's going to win in round three of Funko Pop Battle Royale season number one. All right, guys, we're at our table now taking a look at both the DC Legion Collector's Core Classic Superman and, of course, the PF Exclusive Non-Bloody Lobo. But the very first thing we always do when we do these sort of video review segments is that we look at the packaging and presentation. Let's take Lobo out of the shot for right now. We'll come back to him shortly. This, of course, is the Legion Collector's Core Funko Exclusive Box figure of the Classic Superman. These boxes came out for a while and then we were, they were sunsetted in 2018, no longer to make them, especially the Legion Collector's Core boxes, which have not been made since. So this is the packaging here. We have Pop Heroes at the top. You have both the DC symbol and the Superman logo. Very interesting. Number 159 in the series. A nice sort of side shot here of Superman. Great window box displays. You see him here. Very majestic. You know, the typical big blue Boy Scout. Over here at the bottom we have classic Superman and all important DC, uh, the DC Legion Collector's Core sticker right there. On this side we have a typical side shot where the figure looks like out of packaging. Over here it does say classic Superman number 159 and this kind of dark bluish tint background with the figures that would be normally available in this wave presented. That's Superman classic version. Now let's take a look at the PF exclusive Lobo. As I mentioned they have basically two versions of this Lobo. This is the what I call the clean version non bloody version. They have an identical figure like this with just blood all over the figure. Very similar packaging very similar design. So let's get to it here. We have Pop Heroes again right here at the top. DC Superheroes line number 231. Great side shot of Lobo right there. Great window box display. See the figure within holding up both of his guns. The all important PF exclusive sticker here. Uh, if you're not familiar, PF exclusive pops basically go to uh, retail stores that would be like specialty stores. Your comic book stores, let's say FYE, they would normally get PF exclusives and maybe Amazon. They would get them as well. Entertainment Earth. At the bottom does say Lobo. On this side we have a shot what it looks like when you take the character when you look at him straight on out of the packaging. Over here it does say Lobo as well, number 231. And the back of the packaging just has him by himself. Very loner looking stance with him you know, with barrel chest it out with both his guns. So let's get both figures back into the shot and compare them side by side. Of course we have the front shot, you have this side shot right here. A more warm colored for Superman, darker harsh colors for Lobo, very typical. Uh, you have them right here, their side lettering, very similar lettering types. And the back of the packaging, very similar for both Pop, uh, Pop, Pop, actually not really similar. You have the loner figure of Lobo and all the figures that will be available in a particular wave. I was going to say similar, but they're really not similar. They're really different, all things considered. And let's get these guys out of packaging and continue this round of the Funko Pop Battle Royale. Alright guys, we have the DC Legion Collector's Core Classic Superman out of packaging and a PF exclusive non-bloody Lobo out of packaging. And the very first thing we do in a video segment series like this is look at the paint and articulation. I'm going to take Lobo off the shot right now and focus and concentrate specifically on Superman. Of course, as I mentioned, this is the classic Superman. This is the classic design of Superman. He sports the S curl, black hair, black eyes, blue and red and yellow outfit going through the entire figure as you can see here. He does 
have his S shield, which is of course red and yellow, his yellow little belt and his booty shorts, the red one is right there, uh, red shoes. If we spin around to the back here, he does have his cape, it's sort of billowing and blowing, and the S shield on the back right there. I love the way it looks here, if you look at it, the cape sort of billows to the side, sort of an action pose, very stoic, very cool pose for Superman, love the way it looks. The articulation, let's take a look at that real quick. Head will spin 360, no hindrance. Absolutely love that, not a bobblehead. Again, love that as well. Now let's take a look at Lobo. <laughs> Bring Lobo back into the shot. Lobo is a much beefier character, much bigger buck compared to Superman. If you look at him side by side, Lobo is a bigger figure compared to Superman, respectively. His hair is very, very interesting because it looks sort of like a porcupine. He has spiky hair, so it's kind of going back like a porcupine. That's what I sort of attribute to that. He does have a very cool face sculpt here, big red eyes. He does have a cigar sticking out of his mouth right there. He has a jacket on. If you spin around to the back of the figure, it's a black leather jacket that says, Bite me, fanboy. Love the way he looks. I did a review for this guy before, so I know this figure pretty well. Kind of curly hair in the front. As I mentioned, the cigar right there. He is armed with both this blaster gun right here, his big silver gun, and a chain, kind of a, a curled chain with sort of a hook in this hand. So the chain is wrapped around his arm. I don't know if you can really see that right there. I'll kind of get close so you can see uh, right here on his wrist. The, the chain is wrapped around his wrist. So I like the attention to detail. So it looks very, very cool. He is sporting, of course, his pants and shoes. They are silver on the top right there as well. Articulation is very concerned with this figure because the head will not spin all the way around. You do not have 360 articulation with this head sculpt unless you start trying to force it and go past the high points of the figure where his arms are up pretty high. You will start rubbing the vinyl. So please be wary of that. To me, that is a disadvantage going into this objective based review. So let's bring in both figures now. So we have, of course, let me go back to this position, how we started. We have Superman and, of course, Lobo. Here's how they look from this view. Here's how they look from right here. From the back, both of them uh, showcase very cool back art for the jacket, of course, the Bite Me Fanboy and the S-Shield. And, of course, from the back to the front position. Both figures look really, really good. If you ask my opinion who won here, it's going to be a very, very tough call. I want to hear you guys' vote in the Cast Your Vote segment right now in this video. All right, guys, time to cast your vote. Who do you think won this round three matchup? Was it the Legion of Collectors Core Classic Superman in his standard classic look and feel and design, or was it the PF exclusive non bloody version of Lobo? Now, I think this is going to be a very, very tight matchup. Looking at both these pops going head to head, it should be extremely close from what I'm seeing here in front of me. Remember to click that like button at the bottom of the page. Click the subscribe button with a picture of my face. When you subscribe to the channel, click the bell to kind of know of my latest videos. And of course, last but not least, you can click Windows over here to watch more of my content. Take care, guys. See you next round of Funko Pop Battle Royal, and bye-bye.